This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. No, no. We want Once you're loaded, we want you headed to the next venue, and there's a reason why we do that. Typically, you'll, though, you'll be running with somebody because I say that because typically at these venues, they have multiple docks. So they may have three, two, three, four, five docks, just depending on how big the venue is. Well, once that wa- first wave of trucks, they're loaded. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Stage call, specialized transportation out of Phoenix, Arizona. This is a entertainment trucking company. This is the type of company that sets up for WWE and all sorts of concerts throughout the world. This is that place right here. Stage calls transportation pays their truckers by the day instead of by the mile if you like to know more about stage call stay tuned all right all right how's it going sir good yourself uh it's going good it's going good a buddy of mine uh did a video and uh he was talking to uh, a driver i i'm assuming he he drives for you guys the WWE uh concerts and stuff like that. So uh-huh. I uh you know, went online and looked up uh looked up different venue trucking jobs and and I came across this one. So I wasn't sure if he drove for you guys or something like that, but yeah, one I mean you guys popped up. So is you guys like uh just this drive for like different venues or stuff like that? Yeah, what, what we do is we travel, we drive for different artists. And so whatever the entertainers may be, like you mentioned, WWE, we, we of course, and like I said, we drive for them. Uh, country, rock, rap, classical, uh, the Super Bowl, uh, all kinds of events. And so that's what we do as entertainment. Um, I did look you guys up on uh, online, and I see where... Uh, a lot of my questions uh, are at, I mean, are answered. But uh, I'm curious to know, uh, it said the pay structure is it's not cent per mile. So can you can you explain that to me, how, how the pay yeah. structure now, are works? You, are, you, are you inquiring regarding a company driver or owner-operator? Okay. Yeah, the way the tour pay works is it's a daily rate seven days a week when you're on tour, whether you're moving or not, because that's what's different about this industry is because they may be doing, they may be doing multiple shows in a city. So you may be sitting for two or three days doing nothing, but you're getting paid every day. And so it's not chasing miles. Uh, matter of fact, our, I, you know, I don't know if you're hauling freight or, or what you haul right now, but uh, our mileage that our drivers will kind of average a year that we work them year round can be anywhere between 60 to 70,000 miles a year. And so that kind of gives you an idea of how hard they run. Uh, the way the tour pay starts is 210 a day, so 210 a day, plus most tours do what's called a hotel buyout. And that's in a, usually an additional between 50 and $60 a day, seven days a week when you're on a tour. They call it a hotel buyout because they say, hey, these tours can go anywhere from six weeks to six months with an average tour being three to four months. And so being that you're over the road for extended periods of time, they say, hey, we want to give you a little extra per diem each day. That way, if you want to save it up, you can get out of your truck once in a while and get your hotel. So that's why they call it a hotel buyout. Our drivers just stay in their sleepers, and that extra money comes on their check. It's paid biweekly every two weeks direct deposit. So 210 is the base pay, uh, whether you're moving or not. And then the, the hotel buyouts could, can fluctuate typically between 50 and 60 a day, seven days a week. Uh, you're not required to load or unload the trailers. You're required to be a professional driver and secure the load. So when you get backed up to the venue, to the dock, you're required to be at the back of that trailer removing any load bars or straps, stepping off to the way, and you're going to have a whole team that's going to empty your trailer so they can build that stage. Same thing when the show's over. You're at the back of that trailer. The exact same equipment they took off of your specific trailer, they're putting back on. Whether it's lighting, rigging, sound, merch, 
catering, whatever it is, they're putting it back on, and you'll be the one that would step in and say, hey, let me put a load bar here or let me strap this down. And that's what your responsibility is. So you say this is uh, per day, so 210 per day, and I get paid every uh, every other week uh, by direct Correct. deposit. Every, yep. Okay. How yeah, much? and then depending on the tour, an additional typically 50 to 60 a day on tour for the hotel buyouts will come on that check as well. Now, quick question: um, Are as the as as a driver, um, and we do the uh, tour, say like we go to the venues, are we able to participate in in the venue? Like, can we can we see the show itself, or do we got to stay out in the truck until the show's over with and then do our thing? Yeah, what I'm going to answer this in two parts. <laughs> Uh, the first part is our priority is, is, is our client, making sure that they have what they need for that show to go on and that we're prepared for the next day. So what's nice about touring, though, is when you get onto a tour, you know the entire schedule. So whether it's two months, four months, five months, three months, whatever it is, you know the whole outlay. You see every date. You see every city, how long you're in each city, and so forth. So in answer part to your question, being that you're part of the tour and you're going to be with them day in and day out, if you do want to see a show, you want to look at the calendar and say, hey, I don't have an overnight run on this day. So that would be a good day to actually, you know, ask the lead driver, hey, on this date, could I uh, get a, uh, you know, a ticket or I'm in the city where I have a family or friends. Hey, could I get two tickets to go see this show? Uh, they're real good about accommodating. Production's really good about taking care of our drivers. But it kind of circles back around to our priority. You don't want to go see a show if you have an overnight run that night, because you should be sleeping, getting your rest. So that way you're ready to go. But like I said, you see the whole entire schedule. So you can see when you have breaks, you can see when you have multiple shows in a city. So like I said, if you, if you, when you, you pick and choose when, but like be smart about it saying, Hey, I'm not going to do it tonight. Cause I know I have to leave it. As soon as the, the show's over, I got to drive 300 miles to the next show. So an answer, yes, you'll see, you'll see more than you want to. Uh, because you're with them all the time, but at the same time, be smart about when you're going to ask for those tickets, knowing that, hey, I got an overnight run. If there's a show in Cleveland, they're done, the next show is in PA, I got to be ready to roll overnight just to make sure I get there and have their equipment ready for the next show in PA, right? Correct, correct. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, what's the experience uh, that you guys are looking for? We just what we're asking is uh, three years current over the road tractor trailer experience. Okay, I got eight. So uh, what, yeah, what so, about like I said, we're looking for three. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And then a passport's required. No, no, a passport or a passport card is required because all of our tours do go into Canada. So passport card, uh, of course, three years. Um, all right, so for orientation and, and drug screening, uh, where where would I come for uh, orientation and drug screening? And the drug screening, is it hair follicle or urine or both? Urine. And uh, we do a, a, we use a lab that's here in, in Arizona. So we basically for orientation, is it's held here in our headquarters here in Apache Junction, Arizona. So we fly you here typically on a Monday. I would pick you up from the airport, take you to do the pre-employment drug test, and then drop you off at the hotel, and then pick you up Tuesday and Wednesday for actual orientation here at our office. At that point, we're waiting for the results of that test. Typically, they take about two days. So typically by Wednesday, we have your results. At that point, once I let dispatch know, hey, he's clear, he's good to go, we got everything we need back, then that's when they're going to get you into the truck and onto a tour. You said the average tour would be about three months or so. After that tour is over. Yeah, three to four months is average. After that tour is over, yep. what are we looking like on home time? And how much home time that we can have before we're scheduled out for the next tour? Okay, that's uh, basically what you determine. So being that you know the whole tour schedule up front, so if you look at it and you're like, okay, this is a four-month tour, I'd like to take a week off when this is over or two weeks off, you would let dispatch know in advance. That way they know not to schedule you for the next tour right away. If they don't hear from you, they're going to assume, okay, he's, you know, he wants to continue to stay out. So they will schedule you on the next tour. 
So the biggest thing with us is communication. So like I said, being that you have this whole schedule in front of you months in advance or if at least several weeks in advance, uh, you can you know make that decision and say, you know, hey, when this is over, I'd like to take a week off or two weeks off, whatever it is. Just let them know so that way they know when when to book you for the next tour. The equipment goes, what, what equipment that I can expect and what are the trucks governing that? Yeah, they're, they're governed at 70. They are freight liners. They're all automatics, and they come standard with an APU and refrigerator. Now, being that, would this be like a, a, a convoy type deal, uh, like all of us would, would be in a convoy together, or would we be like individual? Like if I get loaded first, I can go ahead and, and take off, or do I got to wait? until everybody else get loaded and then we all take off at the same time no no we want once you're loaded we want you headed to the next venue and there's a reason why we do that typically you though you'll be running with somebody because i say that because typically at these venues they have multiple docks so they may have three two three four five docks just depending on how big the venue is well once that wa- first wave of trucks they're loaded we want you guys headed to the next city then the next truck get back then they get loaded, they may be an hour behind you. And then the next group, they may be an hour behind. So that way, if something happens along the way, and the lead driver is usually the back, he's the very last one to usually leave. So he's kind of picking up the tail. That way, if someone breaks down or there's an issue in between, there's someone to help along the way. And that way, we're covered to protect. If we have to drop a trailer and, and shuttle a trailer or, or whatever, how, however, whatever we need to do to make sure everything gets there, that's what we do. So you're, you'll typically be running with one or two. But, yeah, we don't want this massive convoy. What about uh, driver cameras in the in the trucks? We have dash cameras. They're forward facing only, and they don't record any sound. So you may have a very good singing voice. Unfortunately, we won't be able to hear it. I mean, I I, I mean, I do get loud when I play my music in the truck. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it, it it is just a forward facing. So it just it, it's it's going out the front of the truck to see what happens in the front. But yeah, there's no sound and there's no inward facing. If I'm company driver, I will uh, inquire benefits. Do do they start right away, or do I have to wait for the benefits to start? Yeah, it's typically the the the. Uh, I think it's sixty days. It may be ninety. I have to verify. It's either sixty or ninety days. But we do offer benefits of medical, dental, vision, short term, long term disability, life insurance. We do have an optional four hundred one k plan, and within the first year of employment, you earn eleven paid vacation days. And from year one through five, you earn 16 days paid vacation. And that continues to accrue with longevity. Okay. Okay. Now we're tour, um, we're tour drivers. Uh, of course, we have some grandkids that might want to come out with us. Uh, what, what's your, what's your policies on pet and rider policy and how young can I bring my rider? If any. We have a no pet policy in our company trucks. So pets, we just that's just we, there's no there's no pets authorized. When it comes to passengers, we do have a passenger policy. Uh, it's based on the tour. When you when you're talking about the age with the insurance, I want to say and I can verify, but I think it's ten. But I can verify with that. Uh, but it's basically going to the lead driver, and saying, hey, I'd like so and so to ride with me from August second to August thirty first. He would go to production so they know for security reasons, hey, there's going to be an additional person here so you know, so they know what's going on. Once they give him the approval, he'll come back to you and say, hey, call Hiram in safety. He'll go ahead and type up a passenger authorization form, sign it, send it to you for an electronic signature, and that way you'll have a copy of DOT stops you. You have an authorized passenger. Okay, okay, great. This sounds like it's all solos, but do you guys offer uh, team drivers or no? It's extremely rare that we use a team. And so when we do need a team for a very urgent run, depending on what resources we have, dispatch will usually reach out to one of our other drivers that may be sitting because he may be in between a show and say, hey, we're going to fly you out to the Omaha and you're going to jump in with Jim and you guys are going to drive get this load up there and then we're going to fly, you know, you back to your truck. So that's kind of the extreme urgent circumstance to which there's additional pay for doing that. But no, it's, it's rare that we ever use team. Uh, what about SAP drivers? Do you guys uh, give them an opportunity or no? 
for what? SAP drivers, drivers that's in the yeah, SAP program. If, they, if they've gone through the yeah, if they've gone through and have the documentation, and that's the critical part, is that they followed the the document <clears throat> documentation and got a return to duty, then yes. So you guys would do the return to duty status for them because that's where some of my guys are having some issues at finding some companies that would do the return to duty uh, status for them. Like I said, we, we look at the whole package just because they've gone through, as long as they can show the documentation that they've completed what the SAP has asked them to do, then, I mean, that's something that we definitely would look at. Okay, great. What about so it's not an automatic disqualification. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess my last question is, uh, what, do you guys have any sign-on bonus or sign-on incentives or referral bonuses or anything like that? The only thing that we have currently is a referral bonus. So from our current drivers, uh, if they refer a, a driver and that driver comes to orientation, uh, they get 500 bucks. Once that new driver is still with us six months later, they get an additional 500 and then if that that same driver is still with us after a year mark, then that driver gets one more 500 Awesome. This has been an awesome, awesome information, man. I mean, I guess the, when, you, when you add up, what, what is it, 200 and, you say $210 a day, right? And including the Correct. extra $50 if they want to use that to go to the hotel. Right, that would put it like at two two sixty or two seventy. Okay, and then I I guess the only other caveat is getting getting settled out every two weeks. Uh, that's probably going to be something that I'm definitely going to have to get used to. But but considering the fact that it's two hundred dollars a day straight or two hundred and ten dollars a day straight, and I don't have to chase no miles or anything like that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's. Yeah, that's usually the biggest thing for most when they, if if you can have the mindset that you can be over the road for long periods of time, guys that come over with that mindset saying, hey, that's that doesn't bother me. Yeah, they en they enjoy the job because, like I said, they're getting paid every day, whether they're sitting or or moving, and and they get that mindset and that yeah, they don't have to chase miles. Wow. Okay. If uh, I I do have other. Uh, drivers uh, that I ask questions for too so I'm going to pass the information on to them uh, if anybody including myself is interested what where do I do just give you a call back and go from there or just go online and fill out the application yeah our application is on our website www.stagecall.com and once you fill out that application it'll come directly to me so I'll be the one that will be reaching back out to you and answering any questions and then moving you through the process. Well, thank you very much. This has been, I, I mean, like I said, I, I watched the video of, uh, of the YouTuber that, that talked to uh, one of the drivers. Like I said, I'm not sure if he drove for you, but uh, is there other companies other than you guys that, that does entertainment driving or you guys just oh yeah yeah no 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 there yeah no it's it's an industry so there's definitely others all right well thank you this i mean i'm just at all right now so <laughs> no you're you're welcome you're welcome like i said if any other questions come up reach reach out i i will do that thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the time hey you're welcome thank you for thinking of us all right Hey, you have a great day. You too now. Stage Call Corporation, everybody. So first thing first, let me uh, send a shout out to my man, Eric, for suggesting the call to Stage Call specialized transportation corporation as you guys heard let me tell you something right off the rip you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get used to getting paid every two weeks that's number one if you if you're not used to getting paid every two weeks then this probably might not be the job for you if you're not 
used to being out the four, maybe four months tops, then this is not the job for you. But if you are, if you are a driver that's looking, that's already OTR and already spending like months at a time over the road, then this might be the job for you. Yes, sir. They got an account with WWE, so of course they're gonna do the Raw, the the SmackDowns, the different cities and stuff like that. I think the only the only thing that I could see that you probably might run into a problem, and that's why they want the three year uh, experience driver, is that some of these some of these venues. I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, some of these venues are not easy to negotiate uh some of them you might have to do some blind side some of them you might have to turn like into a tight corner and then a lot of them you're going to have to go into the cities like some of these stadiums it's like smack dab in in the metropolitan areas that you guys will be going to but overall you would get 210 dollars a day uh, an extra 50 or 60 dollars i believe 50 for the hotel so if you decide that you just want to go to the hotel during the time of the concert which can last hours as uh you can you can you can go and do that or you could just stay in your truck go to sleep and take care of the business and be ready to roll and you're gonna have to be ready to roll because once they get you loaded the next concert city could be the next city over or the next state over you got to be ready to roll you got to be rested and ready to roll no pets no pets you can bring your rider but they got to be authorized also sap is welcome they are sap friendly if you do what you're supposed to do in the sap program then they will look you up and they will see that uh they will see that you guys could probably do sap daily rate pay you will not be chasing miles they dental they help and dental starts uh within 60 days uh short-term long-term disabilities you would get a raise. You would get a raise at the, the end of the year if you stay with them. They got 401k, and you can inquire 11 days paid time off within your first year. Of course, the requirements is you got to be 25 years or older. You have to have three years of experience. You have to have a clean MVR. You got to have. The ability to lift at least 56 pounds, no more than one accident in the past three years. Great backing skills. Let me repeat that. Lockout. Hold on. What 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 you got to have? Great backing skills. Again, some of these places you'll be going to will be challenging. So if you're three years in the game, just make sure your backing skills, they, it, it gotta be something. It gotta be something. You can't be one of those drivers that's afraid to, that's afraid to, uh, uh, to do blind side. Or you can't be one of those drivers and be like, huh, uh, I, I, I don't do blind side at all. Some of these places you're gonna have to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Plus, you have to have a passport because they do Canada runs. They got concerts into Canada. And of course, with the WWE contract, they do they do uh house shows and all that other good stuff in Canada. All right. They do have a they do have a forward-facing camera. You don't have to worry about sound or any of that good stuff right there they have a refrigerator in the in the sleeper uh shout out to uh shape world she had a conversation with awesome trucker she um she drives 
for one of those specialized companies. So if you guys haven't seen uh, that conversation between her and Awesome Trucker, definitely check it out. I think I got an insert on the on the channel that you guys can look for. But Awesome Trucker went into a little bit of detail of what she do as a driver for those type of companies. All right, my name is Lockout Men. Thank you very much for joining me today in this MTC. You guys have any suggestions? I know y'all do. I know y'all do. Why don't you go ahead and send them to me? You can do it three ways. You can hit me up with some coffee and let me know in the Cash App in the notes area who you want me to call next because coffee is good. Coffee is for the soul. All right. Hook a brother up because these calls is not sponsored. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But hook a brother up with some coffee because when I be calling, I be drinking like, you know what I'm saying? So hit me up in the, cra in the cash app, which is dollar sign lockout man. And in the notes, let me know who you want me to call next. You can also suggest in the comment session, of course. You can also hit me up in the uh, in Gmail, which is Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Again, thank you everybody for making this channel what it is. The MTC calls on the recruiter call channel. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?